Welcome back to RHL Travel, Leisure and Food Vlogs. Today we'll be cooking a very easy to prepare and easy to cook dish. It's called our ordinary chop soy. Our ingredients are the following. We have pork, one half kilogram. We have onions, garlic, cabbage. We have our assorted vegetables chopped into desired sizes. And we have our seasonings and some cream of mushroom. Oyster sauce, magic syrup, and some powdered white pepper as well. We will be using also some cooking oil, water, uh, salt to taste. So I hope you watch the video till the end and you'll find out how easy to cook this dish is. And I can guarantee you, because I mentioned earlier, this is the simplified version of the chop soy because as you can see we were not able to buy some liver and also there's no squid or squid rolls or even the quail eggs are not available as well but i can guarantee you this is very very delicious so please watch the video till the end and find out my procedure in cooking this very simple dish now as you can see here i added into the pan first the pork fat and then i added some water and some salt to taste then all i have to do is to heat it using medium heat so that we can extract the oil from the pork fats so as the water slowly disappears the pork fats secretes the oil so we'll be using the same oil the one that we secrete from the pork fat to cook the entire dish now as you can see here uh, there seems to be no more water and the pork fat is slowly beginning to secrete the oil Now you will see the pork fat turning into golden brown with oil already. Same oil being secreted by our pork fat. So we can now set aside the golden brown pork fat and we can start to saute our onions, our chopped onions, followed by the crushed garlic. Please no take note. We are using here two pieces of medium-sized chopped onions and about eight pieces or eight cloves of crushed garlic. Once the garlic becomes golden brown and the onions become translucent, you can now add the pork meat. Now, by the way, the pork meat has been cut into the side, small sizes, and washed thoroughly. So at this point here, our pork meat is about half cooked already so we can now add here some seasoning and some salt to taste just about one half teaspoon of salt and some seasoning and now we can mix the pre-cooked pork fat with the meat and mix it thoroughly
Then we can put on the lid and let it simmer for about two minutes. At this portion, we can add the seasoning. One half of our seasoning. Then we will also add our oyster sauce. And just a little water to allow the meat and the pork fat to cook. And at this point, we can now add our cream of mushroom. So all we have to do is to mix 35 grams of powdered mushroom added into two glasses of water to produce a thick sauce. So in the meantime, I just added one glass of water and the second glass will be added shortly to make sure that the sauce is not too thick. Then we can add the chopped vegetables. Now at this point here, you can add the second glass of water because the, because the sauce is just too thick. So we can also add the remaining seasoning and the white pepper as well. Please take note, we do not want to overcook the vegetables. It is better half cooked. And the last but not least is our cabbage. Thoroughly washed, very clean. Then we mix again the vegetables and make sure that we don't overcook them. So this will be all for now. I hope you like the video. Uh, like I said earlier, this is the simplified version of chop soy. Uh, as I said earlier, we don't have the liver, we don't have the squid or squid rolls, we don't have the quail eggs. But, as I promised and as I guaranteed you, this is very delicious. Try it. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.